Today we are looking at how to assemble and install a Movo Canopy second generation. Lay out all your parts and double check them against your inventory list supplied and move the angle of the seat to upright or forward. Slide part 127 into the scooter's hitch or accessory bar and secure it by tightening the screw. Next slide part 120 over 127 and secure it. Ensure you slide it all the way over. Insert part 9900 one to hold it in place and tighten the M5 10mm screws. Remove part 9901 by pulling out the quick release pin before proceeding to the next step. We are now setting up the backrest support bracket. Once assembled like this, insert this into the top of the attached frame on the back of your scooter and secure with the pin. Slowly recline the seat back to your preferred position. You may need to adjust the bracket angle using the pin to ensure it hits at the top of the backrest, not the headrest. If you have a scooter with a shorter backrest than 51 cm or 20 inches, please ensure you familiarize yourself with our video for this. Next insert the armrest support straps into the frame and secure them to the scooter's armrest on both sides. Please refer to this diagram for the identification of the arches for the next steps. You can identify part 1045 as its inside curve is completely covered by a velcro strip. To assemble arch number 1, use part 1001 and part 1002 straight sections with part 1045. Use the screws and allen key to secure it. Insert it into the frame with the edge profile facing backwards. Part 1067 is curved upwards while the other arches are flat. Assemble arch number 4. To do this, use two straight sections part 1014. Ensure your edge profile lines up and secure both sides. Insert these into the frame with the edge profile facing down and the Movo logo being the right way up. Part 1046 can be easily identified as the Velcro starts roughly 5 cm from the edge. Assemble arch number 2 using two straight sections part 1014. Slide these together and secure them with the screws. You can use a power tool if it's easier. Slide the arch into the frame ensuring the profile faces forward towards the tiller of the scooter. The last arch to assemble is arch number 3. Use the last two straight sections part 1014 and part 1047. Slide them together and secure them. Now slide the last arch into the frame with the profile facing backwards towards the seat. There are four different zippers of different lengths. If you don't have a measuring tape, you can lie them flat next to each other to identify which one is which. Ensure you only measure the zipper not the straw. Each arch will need a zipper. To do this, lift the appropriate side up, then thread the zipper store into the groove at its head. Lift up the arch 2 and thread part 1029 into arch then replace the arch on the frame. Next we will thread part 1030 into arch 3, using the same process. The third zipper part 1031 will fit arch 4. And the last one is for arch number 1 and zipper part 1028. While all other zippers were inserted right, this one needs to be inserted from the left. Secure all arches using 8.5m 10mm screws. Next, we will add the canopy to our frame. Place the canopy on the frame with the enclosed side facing the front of the scooter. Working from the inside of the canvas, line up all your zippers and slide them in, following this order. 
Ensure you do them one at the time and work gently, there shouldn't be much resistance. Secure the edges by connecting the metal push buttons along the frame. Now add your front and rear visors using the push buttons and you're done.